today's tutorial, I will show you how to compute grades using an Excel file. As you can see, all of the raw scores of the students are already encoded from the written works, performance tasks, and quarterly assessment. And I will show you now on how to compute them using the formulas from, the, from computing the total scores. their corresponding percentages, the raw grade, the transmuted grade, and how to rank them. First, let's encode the formula for the total scores. Click the cell where the total score is desired to be located, then type equal sign sum, open parenthesis B3, colon E3. Then close parenthesis. B3 here is the first score, which is 20. Then E3 is the last score, which is 15. Then click enter. It will be very time consuming if we will be encoding the formula in the preceding cells one by one. So what we need to do is to click the cell where the formula was encoded then move the cursor to the lower right to the lower right corner until you see until you see the thick cross in it then click and hold then drag and drop up to the last student to copy the formula format there you go to find the percentage just click the cell where the percentage formula is desired to be encoded then type equal sign open parenthesis f3 divided by f dollar sign 3 then close parenthesis times 100 enter F3 here is the total score for the written works, which is 80. Then the other F3 with the dollar sign indicates that um, if we will be dragging this down up to the last students, as to, up to the last student, the F3 without dollar sign will change into F4, F5, but this one will not change. Let's try. Click the cell, then drag and drop onto the last, up to the last student, then there you go. Then move to this option, number, then reduce the cell into two decimal places. Just click this one. Same thing to do with the performance task. For the total column, let's type again equal sign sum, then open parenthesis age 3, colon K3, then close parenthesis, enter. Then drag and drop on up to the last student. Then, for the percentage type, equal sign, close parenthesis, L3 over L$3, close parenthesis, times 100. Enter. Click the cell, drag and drop up to the last student. Then reduce the cell into two decimal places. Then lastly, for the quarterly assessment, since uh, there is only one quarterly assessment, so this will be now the total score for the quarterly assessment. So we will only be finding here the percentage. Just type 
equal sign, open parenthesis, n3 over n dollar dollar 3 close parenthesis times 100 enter then click the cell drag and drop then reduce the, the decimal places into two let's, let's compute for the raw grade click the cell where the raw grade formula is desired to be encoded then type equal sign sum open parenthesis the corresponding percentage of the first highest po um, highest possible score which is g in g3 it is 100 g3 times point zero point four because here we use the sign subject as our sample subject and there is 40% in written works, 40% in performance tasks, and 20% in quarterly assessment. Uh, going back, then close parenthesis plus for the for performance tasks, open parenthesis M3 times 0 0.4, close parenthesis plus open parenthesis for the quarterly assessment, it is in O3. 03 times 0 0.2 close parenthesis then enter then same thing to do drag and drop until the last student then reduce the decimal places into two there you go we have our row grade for the transmutation of grade, we will be using the lookup formula. Just type equal sign lookup, then P3 semicolon, then go to sheet 2 where the transmutation table is located then drag drag and drop from a2 to a a to b 42 then enter there you go the transmitted grade for the highest possible score is 100 because the raw grade is 100 so let's copy the formula format just drag and drop up to the last student then center then bold then there you go lastly let's rank the students and type the formula equal sign rank then open parenthesis this student trisha which is in q4 then semicolon q4 Q dollars four to Q dollars thirteen and enter. Then drag and drop up to the last student. Then there you go. And that's the end of our tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.